Today, let's talk about Stealth Iron Man. Hey guys, it's me, host SuperSorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Stealth Iron Man. This is another quick review of the Iron Man range that's come out for the Ursa Major Bath figure. Now, this is the Stealth Iron Man figure, which looks very cool. We've got that head again of Tony Stark. That's the what, third time they've reshoot that now? And we've basically got another Iron Man figure, and he's got the same closed fisticuff hands, he's got the same open palms, and the same repulsors. <laughs> same Iron Man, new deco. And it's the stealth Iron Man, guys. So let's go ahead and have a look at the side. Looks very War Machine-esque there, but I like it. And then on the back as well, we've got a very nice artistic piece, and a little write-up which states... The Iron Man, I don't even know what that is, 10, Mark 15 is this? The Iron Man Mark 15 suit, codenamed Sneaky, gives Tony Stark a built-in cloaking system, dampening thrusters, and retro-deflective coating to deliver devastating stealth attacks on his opponents. Ooh, we're almost there to building this great big weir monster. And he looks very cool, the big weir bear. I'm very, I can't wait for the weir bear. But yes, let's go ahead and break this bad guy out of the packaging, because he looks awesome! So here he is, out of the packaging, guys. It's Stealth Iron Man. Paint it grayscale or black or grey or dark colours, and all of a sudden it's Stealth. <laughs> I've noticed they do that a lot with the uh, with the Marvel stuff. We've had Stealth Captain America and all sorts of things. Anyway, that aside, it's Stealth Iron Man time, and he does look really cool, actually. As much as I'm ribbing and having fun, he it does look very cool. I love that red on this sort of bluey black. It does look very nice. I love the pearlescent paint colours, which has gone into the armour to make it really shine. Looks real nice. There's some nice marbling going on. A lot of people don't like marbling in the figures, but I actually like it. It doesn't bother me. Um, the figure itself looks very immaculate. I've not found any warping, any warping or any issues here. It looks very neat and good. Paint looks very good as well. And a solid figure there. Articulation, the head's on a ball joint, so you can make him look up, as well as down, left and right. His arms lift up at that side hinge to also rotate. There's rotation also at the bicep there. There's double hinged biceps, which bend inwards pretty well. And the hands are on ball joints. So he does have the abdomen crunch, which crunches forwards that much, and backwards that much. He also has waist swivel, so you can waist swivel him around. His legs do lift out pretty far, as well as forwards and backwards. There is the top thigh cut there as well, as you can see, and the double hinged knees. Now inside the joints, they, look, they are very stiff here, so you may want to use some uh, hot water um, or the hairdryer technique to warm up these joints, because there is a little bit of warping going on in the plastic inside the joints there. So some of these, were, I think, were, the plastic was cracking as I was pulling that then. Should have been a little bit more careful. Uh, there is a boot cut as well, which is nice, and the feet are on rocker and pivot. Now, obviously, it does have holes in the bottom of his feet for display bases, but as well, it's so you can use the repulsors, so it looks like he's flying or thrusting away. Uh, I won't show that again on this one, because I've done that on every single video I've done so far for this wave. And as well, we've got the closed fisticuff hands, and the ones that I always take the mick of, we've got these ones as well, which fire the repulsor blasts, completing the look. And as well with this one, we've got the um, we've got the masthead on right now. But if I just pop that off, ugh, that didn't want to come off. Then we can place on the other Tony Stark head that they've given us, which is the head we've had. I think this has been reissued about three times now. So we've, we have had this one previously. It has been slightly improved upon actually on this release. Uh, they have given it a bit of a new deco. Um, so it, the paint apple on this one is actually very nice compared to the ones I've had previously. Either way. Solid release. Looks very nice. I do like the look of that head. If anything, I would probably leave that head on this figure. It looks very nice. But what are your thoughts, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's review, then please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out, and it helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye!